Okay, we have three brushes, a number 10, a 16, and, and a 6, a smaller round, an oval, and a large round. We'll start with a large round just to block in the, the background greens here, first of all. Put a canvas that I've already put a black acrylic onto, just to um, give me a dark ground and work up very, very quickly. Again, I'm going to draw out, I'm just going to enjoy the colours, the shapes and the flowers, and move things around a bit for my own benefit. Uh, Stay wet palette that we used the other day on the painting. We've still got painted it from over a week ago now. So uh, it shows you how long they'll keep. I've just put some new paper into the mixing palette, that's all. I want to make a very dark green, so I'm going to use a bit of cobalt. And I don't have the Prussian blue, so I'm going to have to use a bit of black. And some yellow. green a little background into these colours just to start working in just to start working in uh, some of these tones over the black and I'm just going to mix the lemon yellow and the cobalt lemon yellow and cobalt together to start to get some of the lighter greens here just to establish where I'm going working all over the canvas, not just in one place. And so now Ceruleon and Lemon, some of these really bright greens here. Let's just start to look at the cool bright greens that are going on in places. Mixing these yellowy greens now. There you go. greens. And even pinks and things coming in up here. There's all sorts of wonderful colours reflecting on from the light into this painting. Just using a brush very loosely at the moment just to establish some of these different colours. And it's just great fun. What I wanted this garden for was to do these sorts of paintings. I'm going to change brushes now to my little oval flat for a bit. This one. The sun's just come behind a cloud a moment, so colours have gone from the vibrance here for a second, but it's given me a chance to see what I'm doing. So, um, got some more colour in. Just trying to make some more darks now. I need to go down to much darker greens. Yep, that's a nice darker, but still warm green. Coming amongst all this. Foliage. Just have to feel what I can do. With these colours. Look at these 
Lovely cornflower blues first of all. And they are a, a movie blue. Let's see how strong they are. That's quite a cool shadow for one. Using a bit of purple and uh, cobalt to establish the mid-tone. All sorts of wonderful colours happening down into here. And we get the cobalt blue coming directly in to some of them. I'm going to take some of the purple and add a little bit of white to it. So we can do with that first of all. Let's check it out. Yeah, some of that's coming down into here. Down there too. Start to add some more of that red into it. The the rose, bright rose into that. Pick out these lovely pinks that are going on back behind here. Use the edge of the brush as a petal maker. So when you think we've done as light as we can, no, we've still left ourselves room to go a bit lighter still if we need to. And now some of the pure rose and a little bit of the cadmium red and let's really start to make this painting sing. He's blowing me flower around a bit so I'm doing my job to see what I'm doing but it's really bright colours we can get with acrylics and oils. Very deep purples amongst these flowers too. Now we've got to start on the yellows, these lovely marigolds. And I'm going to start off with a mid blue a mid yellow, mid yellow with a chrome yellow and into that yellow. I'll just paint that pure at the moment and just see where that actually comes into here. A little bit of lemon yellow now to make it a bit brighter as we come out here in the sunlight. This comes up this bush here of little yellow daisies. That, are, that one there is got to be worked up into here. Going to start a bit more orange into those now. The yellows yet though. This yellow is so yucky. But it's still very thin paint. I prefer a much more opaque. This is why I like oil paint because it is much heavier and thicker than this. It's hard to indicate some petals of these lovely marigolds. Go back into those petals in a moment with a darker colour to see if we can pick them out a bit more. Right, I'll carry on with this. I've got the small brush now, a um, number six, and we'll see if we can get some of the details in. A lighter little highlights and details and a bit of drawing. So let's take some of the darks first, which are just starting to dry.